The question is whether PCL3 is ionic or covalent. This is phosphorus trichloride. So we have our periodic table here. It's broken into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. So we find phosphorus right here. Phosphorus, that's a nonmetal. And then chlorine over here, that's a nonmetal as well. So when we have nonmetals bonded together, that means we have a covalent compound. So PCL3 is a covalent compound. It's also called a molecular compound. Let's take a look at the structure for a moment here. And we can see that we have the phosphorus in the center here, and then we have chlorines, three of them. And these lines here, they represent a shared pair of electrons. So each one of these lines is a pair of electrons that's shared between the phosphorus and the chlorine atoms. That's because this is a covalent bond. So these covalent bonds, they share electrons. You can see that here as well. These are shared electrons. These two electrons up here are called lone pair electrons or unbonded electrons. They'd be right here in our model. So in answer to our question, PCL3 is a covalent or molecular compound. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.